Sky University. Sky is actually an acronym that is used to refer to the three most prestigious, well-known and well-respected universities in South Korea, especially in the capital city of Korea, Seoul. These universities are Seoul National University, also known as SNU, Korea University, also known as KU or Koryode, and Yonsei University. So if you put the first letters of each university together, you will get sky. This term is actually widely used in Korea among locals and not only among them. Come on, yeah. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about these three universities by providing you information on the tuition fees for international students, application fee, and the juicy, juicy, juicy part of this scholarships provided by each university. And if you are the one who is seriously planning to apply to one of these universities, make sure to check out this playlist where I did the most informative video on the admissions to these universities, where I also have a small interview with universities and they give lots of advice and tips on how to get in so just make sure to check this playlist but before further ado let's jump into this video let's start from university rankings according to qs asia university rankings korea university is ranked 13th Yonsei University is ranked 16th and SNU is ranked 18th. Also, according to QS World Top Universities ranking of 2022, SNU is ranked 36, KU Koryode is ranked 74th and Yonsei is ranked 79th. But in the case of the World University rankings, none of these universities are ranked in at least 200 top universities so i don't know which source to believe however however no matter how high they rank in those lists of asia universities or world universities koreans tend to study really 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 hard to get at least into one of these universities and they compete with each other so you need to understand why it's like that because come on these are the top universities and it's really hard to get into them but it's quite easier for international students to get in because we have different educational backgrounds compared to Koreans. Also, Sky universities are really popular among international students too. Example of that can be that each of these universities, they have their own kind of association which actually helps international students with their life in Korea, life in university and just in general. For example, in SNU, this association is actually called SISA, SNU International Students Association. In KU, it's called KUISA, Korea University International Student Assistant. And in Yonsei, it's called FSU, Foreign Student Union. And there are actually lots of classes and majors that are actually taught in English. So basically, there are lots of international students that study in these universities. Of course, it depends on your major, what major you are choosing, and if it's conducted in English or Korean. But most of the time, the majors are conducted in Korean. However, such as international studies, law, maybe business, they're conducted in English. SNU is actually a national university which is supported by government and it was established in 1946 whereas Korea University is actually a private university and it was established in 1905 making it the most oldest university in Korea and in case of Yonsei University it was established in 1957 and it's also a private and research university and also as Korea University it's quite expensive compared to SNU and these universities actually provide various kinds of fields such as law, business, engineering, science, humanities, art and music, design, everything, lots of things. Most of the popular politicians, lawyers, businessmen, journalists, physicians, engineers, doctors, even bureaucrats are actually known that they have graduated from these universities. Everyone is actually interested on how much is it to study in Korea and especially in these universities. So here I am to tell you how much are those. The tuition fee actually depends on the major and the college that you choose. So for SNU undergraduate international students, the tuition starts from $2,140 up to $4,410. So colleges that actually cost 2,442,000 Korean won are College of Humanities, College of Social Sciences, College of Business Administration, College of Arch 
Agriculture and Life Sciences College of Education and College of Human Ecology. And for those who are really interested in business administration, here you are. It starts from $2,210. Because I get lots of questions on how much is business administration in SNU or any other universities. And the other cost that are from 5,038,000 Korean won are for the College of Medicine and 3,916,000 Korean won is for the College of Music and 3,653,000 Korean won is for the College of Fine Arts and 4,645,000 Korean won is for the College of Veterinary Medicine. The tuition that I told you are actually per semester, not for a whole year. If it was for a whole year, come on, everyone would be sitting there. The tuition fee for international graduate students per semester can range from 3,278,000 Korean won, which is $2,870, to 5,789,000 Korean, Korean won, which is approximately $5,070. So, departments that cost 3,278,000 Korean won are College of Humanities, College of Social Sciences, College of Business Administration, Humanities and Social Sciences from College of Agriculture and Life Sciences and College of Education and Graduate School of Public Administration. And for the other majors, the College of Veterinary Medicine cost 5,789,000 Korean won. College of Law cost 3,278,000 Korean won, which is approximately almost $3,000. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking about it. I'm just thinking about it. And College of Pharmacy costs 4,855,000 Korean won. If you're thinking into applying, please take notes from this. Like, just take notes of the tuition fees so that you will know and you will compare the universities if you are planning to study in one of these. So, the tuition fee for Korean University. The tuition fee for the undergraduate international students range from $4,000 for humanities and up to $5,000 for sciences. The tuition fee for the international graduate students for both master's and doctoral programs are as follows. Liberal arts and social science, it's about $4,000. Natural science and physical education, 5,914,000 Korean won or for like almost $5,000. Engineering and art, it's $5,750. And health science, it's $5,340. And medicine is $7,210. And pharmacy is $6,490. Graduate students tend to have more money than other graduate ones. But let's move to Yonsei University. The tuition fees for the undergraduate international students at Yonsei University is approximately $5,400. And actually, this tuition fee is only for the first year with the Global Basic Education Division, GBED. So this tuition is just for GBED program. After that, you will have different tuition. Just to make sure about each major's tuition fee, Please visit the website and all the links will be in the description box. Next, for the graduate international students at Yonsei University, the tuition fee is between $4,280 up to $6,870. So the examples of the departments with $4,000 tuition fee are Political Science, Public ad Administration, Sociology, Cultural Anthropology, Media Communication, Interdisciplinary Program, Area Studies, Korean Unification Studies, Social Welfare Policy, and Law. Oh my god, my tongue. It's so hard to read this. And examples of departments with almost $7,000 are Medicine, Medical Sciences, Dentistry, Applied Life Science, and Speech Pathology. Speech Pathology. I think I need that. Yeah. Application fee at SNU for undergraduate students is actually... $60 and for graduate students is $85. Application fee at Korea University for international undergraduate students are actually divided into two parts. So, if you're planning to apply for humanities and sciences, your application fee will be $125. I almost want to say $1,000. $125 and for art and design, it's $200. An application fee for graduate international students at Cor Korea University is $105. Now let's see Yonsei application fee. The application fee for international undergraduate students 
is $130 for all departments. They are not divided as in Korea University. And for the graduate international students, the application fee is actually $84. And then you will also need to pay some extra fee if you're applying for music department, like music major. And that additional fee is $45. Now, let's talk about my favorite part. Favorite part and everyone's favorite part is scholarships. And before we start, I just want to say that SNU has more scholarships than the other universities, but those also have a really good scholarships too. Let's start with our scholarships that are provided by SNU for undergraduate students. Actually, overall, like for graduate and undergraduate students, there are probably 17 scholarships provided by SNU. 17 scholarships come on 17 scholarships just in snu and you actually can also get other scholarships outside of your university so let's start first scholarship for undergraduate students is obviously kgsp we all know about legendary scholarship kgsp which is also known as gks the second scholarship is called global hope scholarships and yes i will put all the links for each scholarship or just like page of the scholarships in the description box so you can easily go and check the website and just read the requirements the details information on how to apply and what to do and if you just want to go through the short explanation what it covers you can check my video out about snu scholarships i talk about these scholarships in short third scholarship for undergraduate students is overseas koreans scholarships basically is for those koreans that lived and studied abroad for a long time fourth scholarships is called glow harmony scholarship then we have GKS scholarship, but it's not that KGSP scholarship. It's actually called Korean Government Support Program for self finance Student. Then we have Daewong Foundation Scholarship. And lastly, we have Korean War Memorial Foundation Scholarship. Now let's talk about the graduate scholarships provided by SNU for international students. Oh my God, now I actually mentioned seven scholarships for undergraduate students, and now we will have 10 scholarships for graduate students. First, we have SNU President Fellowship Program also known as SPF. SPF. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just thinking about skincare right now, but it's called SPF. Second one, we have Graduate Scholarship for Excellent Foreign Students, which is also known as GSFS. Third, we have Silk Road Scholarships, which are for those students who come from the countries that have like Silk Road, such as my country, Tajikistan, and like kind of Central Asian countries. And then we have overseas Korean scholarships, as I already mentioned, for those Koreans who lived and studied abroad for a long time. And lastly, we have our, not lastly, fifth, we have GKS scholarship, KGSP. Sixth, we have SNU Global Scholarship Type 1 and Type 2. Six. Six point one. Type 1 and Type 2. Then we have Glow Harmony scholarship. Then we have Daewong Foundation scholarship. And lastly, Korean War Memorial Foundation Scholarship. Adding this all, we have in total 17 scholarships that are provided by SNU for international students, for both undergraduate and graduate students. Now let's talk about scholarships provided by Korea University. For undergraduate students, there are actually about five scholarships. So first one is Global Leader Scholarship Type A and Type B. Second, scholarship for current students that are actually already enrolled. And then there are three more scholarships that are for Academic Excellence Scholarship, Academic Improvement Scholarship, and Bright Future Scholarship. All the links of the scholarship website will be in the description box. Next, let's look for graduate scholarships provided by KU for international students. So first is KU Graduate Scholarships for international students. This scholarship is divided into three. So basically you can have like three, no, apply for three scholarships and just get one. And they're named the Global Leader Scholarship, Scholarship Type A, Humanities and Social Sciences Scholarship, Scholarship Type B, and Natural Science and Engineering Scholarship, which is named as Type C. Now let's move to Yonsei Scholarships, our last university scholarship. Yonsei has two scholarships for undergraduate students and two other scholarships for graduate students. So. For undergraduate students, first one is Global Korean Scholarship, GKS, as for everyone. And yes, I didn't mention, I think, for Korea, but Korea also has GKS. And then scholarships offered at Underwood International College, UIC. The links will be in the description box for you just to go and check the details and information about each scholarship. Then for graduate scholarships provided by Yonsei for international students, first one is Global Leader, Leader Fellowship and Outstanding International Student Scholarship. And of course, if I'm not mentioning GKs, it doesn't mean that they don't have those. They have, they have. But just I'm telling you the scholarships that are provided by university. 
we can actually say that these sky universities are korean ivy league universities these three universities have branch campuses in different cities but only two of these universities, Korea and Yonsei universities, which have like these branches in different cities, the students that study in branch universities and students that study in main campus kind of fight between each other. Yeah, they fight between each other saying that, oh, we're from the main campus, so we're not going to talk to you. And the branch campuses feel like kind of, you know, like underrated and stuff. So they have like small fights like those and i read one article saying that some students that study in branch universities like in branch campuses they kind of you know like fake their life or like fake their story by telling others that oh i studied in main campus and stuff in my opinion it's qu quite you know like kind of i mean come on it's still it still has the name of your university no matter if it's a branch or no However, among Koreans, it's a really huge deal, turns out. Yeah, I didn't know that, but turns out it's a huge deal. So if you want to read that article, I'm just going to link it down below so that you can go and check it out. Yeah, just go and check it out. It's really interesting. It's like such a huge hot tea. So thank you for watching. If you like this video and if you want to study in Korea and if you want to apply for any of these universities, just make sure to check my other videos, my channel. I have lots of videos on how to apply, how to get in, what the interviews, scholarships and so on, so on, so on. Thank you for watching. Wish you best of luck and see you in the next video.